Good morning, Cougars. Today is Thursday, February 25, 2016. My name is Sierra, and I'm here with my friend Kaylee. We're glad that you're watching. Today's Cougar Cafe menu features choice one, breaded chicken sandwich, choice two, beef hot dog, choice three, PB&J, choice four, pizza munchable, choice five, chef salad. Hey, girls, tomorrow is a father-daughter dance. Are you planning to come? Bring your dad for an awesome night of dancing and sweet treats. Tickets are $5 in advance and $7 Friday night at the door. Now it's time for the pledge. After the pledge, we'll have a moment of silence. Then stay tuned for an, annou for an announcement from Ms. Pajerski. Attention, salute, pledge. Good morning, Cougars. I hope everyone had a safe trip in today. It was nice. Uh, at least the rain stopped a little bit, and we've had some large puddles on the playground and, uh, <clears throat> and other places around the school, so hopefully those will dry up and we can get outside, although it's a little chilly today. So I know uh, some of us uh, are excited to go have some recess uh, coming up here soon. Um, I have a couple of things. I wanted to give a shout-out to our fifth graders. I have seen several um, examples of some outstanding oratorical work. Um, a couple of them uh, that, uh, that specifically uh, Sierra and DJ just did a fabulous job. I'm sure there are others. I haven't seen them all yet. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But uh, it is very important to learn to speak in front of people, even if it makes you a little nervous. But it's also important to share your story. So I appreciate them sharing their stories um, and things that are important to them. Um, and it is definitely something to think about how your uh, life and attitude can impact others. So that's a great oratorical uh, topic, and thank you to fifth grade. I know Ms. Miller's been working on that, and Ms. Gunner's been helping out with some filming of some of those. So thanks to all of the fifth graders who did that. Um, and that's even though maybe it was outside your comfort zone, that's something that's important to do. So we will um, hear some more about that at another point. So thank you for that. Thank you to all of our leadership team folks who are turning out Saturday quite early, I might add. Um, over at West High School for the Forsyth County Job Fair. That is a huge, huge event, so we will be uh, turning out over there. I will get to hang with you all for, the, uh, for that, and then uh, we will have Ms. Rice joining us uh, some as well, and uh, so that will be fun. But thank you for doing that. I know that's uh, tough to give up a Saturday morning, um, but we are looking for future Cougar teachers, so that's really important. So thank you for doing that. All right, students, I want you to look this way, look into my eyes, make some eye contact. I want to talk to you about, about three quick things. One, the first one's very easy. Please remember when you come into the building to take off your hat, your hood, um, if you have on a baseball cap or something like that, unless it's a hat day, which I think we have one next week on Thursday or so. Um, I don't have the form in front of me, but we have reading week, so we will be having a hat day next week. Absolutely wear your hats on that day, but unless it's a hat day, please take your hat or hood or uh, what have you off in the building. That's just the right thing to do. Um, the other thing is when people speak to you, you know, we've worked on that around here for a long time. When someone says good morning, it is, uh, it is, the, it is customary to look, make eye contact with them and, and say the same, either good morning or how are you or something of that accord. So when you, whether it's your friends or an adult, so if you see adults, y'all usually do pretty well with that, but we've had, maybe it's the winter time. We've had some, uh, I would say groan, groaners, grumblers, growlers, so 
You just at least smile. That would be great. So let's work on that if we can. Here's the other big one, and you guys know I've been talking to you about this for seven years. Line walking in the afternoon. Woo, it's getting a little wild again. So please make sure you are in a single file line, even if your teacher is not the one taking you out. If you have a kindergarten uh, Parapro that's taking you out or a substitute, please make sure that you are observing the rules. They are the same every single day. So I don't want to have to start making folks turn around and go all the way back to class, but it's not safe if we're walking all over the hall. So please be directly behind the person in front of you and in a nice quiet line. That would just be so awesome. So no hats, speak and smile, and make sure you're in a single file line. That would be so awesome, okay? All right, well, stay tuned. The next week starts March, and we're going to have a little March Madness going on around here, which is going to be some excitement. Um, and we will hope that you will uh, enjoy March because that's a long one, and uh, then we get ready for spring break and milestones. So get ready to have some fun in March. See you later. Thank you. Have a thrilling Thursday, Cougars. See you tomorrow. Bye.